barbershop conversation, guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> guys, did y'all see that card by Eddie Her? I just I subscribed to AB Boxing, and uh, he posted a picture. <laughs> Jesse Marcus. First time is the Lorme. Oh man. Oh my Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't man, I don't even know who nobody's fighting. McDonald and Roman is probably the most credible fight, but that'll probably be the first fight. Guys, go to um, the press conference is about this. Oh, it just started. It's 10 a.m. But uh, it's just a terrible card, man. And when you come to America, you want to make a big splash. You got to give us something. I think it's terrible. I think the card is just stupid. It doesn't make sense. You know, I, I would have held off on that. Um, first of all, I wouldn't have put Jesse Vargas in the Midwest. I always wondered why the hell is Chicago called the Midwest? I mean, Illinois, excuse me. Chicago, Illinois. Why the fuck is that called the Midwest? And two, I bet he didn't have no community leaders at the as what he's not abreast as to what's going on in the community. 66 people shot and killed. I definitely would have dabbed into that. You understand? I would have had some local officials there, some church members there, and let you know that we're going to donate $20,000, $10,000. You know how many ticket sales that that will give you? You understand what I'm saying? There's just so many ways he could he could have sliced this pie. But uh, I would have put, uh, I believe he's a free agent. I don't believe he signed anyone, but Showtime loves him. Of course, Steven Espinoza said that eloquently about um, uh, the guy who just fought uh, Fortuna. Uh, you guys know who I'm talking about. He, he, drew, he drew with Adrian, oh, he lost Adrian Broner by, uh, by one round. Sean Porter just beat him. You know, I'll be drawing a blank on these guys' names when I be in these videos, man. But, um, but yeah, man, uh, he's just drawing a complete blank, man. I, he's whiffing on this one. Jarrell Big Baby Miller. I would never, if Jarrell Big Baby Miller didn't draw in Brooklyn, no way I would pull him out of Brooklyn. Not unless he's fighting a Chicago fighter. You understand? So I don't know where these guys are from. But uh, I believe no one is from Chicago. The undercards, you, you know, the young fighters, they'll be from Chicago. The, the kids, I got to sell tickets to put on the fight. They'll be from there. But outside of that, man, I just, I don't get it. I, I don't get his plan. I don't get uh, the mission statement, the purpose. You know, it's just literally beyond me, man. So, uh, you know, I'm out here... Uh, at Sean Porter's camp right now for Danny Garcia. So if you guys have any questions for Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, put it in my DM. Don't put it in the comment section. I probably won't even get to the comment section till tonight for this video. But um, uh, put it in the DM me any questions you guys may have, and uh, we'll move forward from there. Drive through. I'm going to Dunkin' Donuts right now. So that's the plus and the minuses when you on camp and shit when I'm on location is that I eat bad per se but I work out I do like an old man's workout when I'm when I'm on when I'm uh, in camp I mean when I'm traveling hi can I get a coffee roll and a twist and a bottle of water I can't hear you, sir. can I get a coffee roll a twist and a bottle of water twist and a bottle of water Yes, please. All right, Thank you. So, but that that card is completely trash. But if you guys have any questions for Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, I mean, about Danny Garcia for Sean Porter, or about Sean Porter generally speaking, just go ahead, feel free to ask, and uh, slide in my DM. I'll I'll see I'll see it pop up in my DM. But anyways, I appreciate you guys, man. I'll have more in this Eddie Hearn stuff um, as it as the day throughout. But I just think it's a trash card in Chicago um, you know Eddie Hearn's in trouble Eddie Hearn's in trouble in America he'll do great overseas similar to Oscar he'll do great in this western region but uh, in terms of globally without Canelo I, I think he'll have problems same thing with Eddie Hearn he should have he should have 
If Eddie Hearn had a plan, he should have finessed his way into America. He should have conned us. You know what I mean? He should have reached out. He should have did interviews on every YouTube channel, every main medium. Just, just, man, appreciating the American market and how beautiful it is, and how he wanted to, how he wanted to build a bridge and connect. The key word is connect, not compete. Connect the uh, the UK market with the USA market. But he's failed. Anyways, man, barbershop comments. I'm gonna come back later, but I gotta, I gotta punch in these directions and shit. And. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, peace, guys.